Have you ever wondered what to do once you've worked meticulously on a machine learning model and you want someone else to be able just to use it? Well, you can pickle that model. Let me show you how it's done. First of all, I'm just going to run my cascading style sheet. To run and create my model, I'm just going to use the random forest regressor from model from the ensemble library in scikit-learn and then just the ROC area under the curve score there my receiver operating characteristic area under the curve score there. More importantly though, the pickle, import pickle. Let's just run through this model. This is not a video about how to create a random forest regressor model, but let's have a quick look. It's the second sheet here, which means sheet name equals one of my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet here. And if we run that, the first five rows of this data frame, we see four numerical variables, three categorical variables, and my outcome here. So I have these seven predictor uh, variables here and one outcome uh, variable. I'm going to pop, pop off that outcome variable as a vector. It is now gone from my data frame and it lives inside of this computer variable Y. Uh, just to make sure, there's my data types, my seven predictor variables. There. Now three of them are categorical. This is a little function that will just extract all the categorical variables from a data frame and just describe them. So it found category 1, category 2, category 3 as categorical variables, 700 rows in each of them. We see three unique values, two and four unique values, and the mode there with a frequency. Now I've got to dumbify this if I want to create a random forest regressor model. So I'm going to take category 1, category 2, category 3. I'm going to do a little for loop through all of those. I'm going to fill in A with missing and I'm going to create this, uh, this set of dummy variables and in the end delete these three uh, columns. So if I look at the result of that, this is what we have, perfect, ready for use inside of a random forest regressor model. So see the four numerical variables and then this numeric representation through dummy variables. So there's a one under cat1a, so this would have been an a, it would have been a Roman numeral two for cat2 and it would have been an r for cat3. There we go all ready to go. Let's run our model. There we go. I use random forest regressor, pass all my arguments, I fit my data, my outcome variable to the model, and we see an area under the curve there of 0.8977. Now, imagine for a while, I've worked meticulously on this model. I've really worked hard on it, and this is the best it can be, and I want to send it to someone else so that they can just import their data and use the model. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to simply pickle our model. So I'm going to open a file. There you can see my file name, .pkl. The WB argument is for write binary. So it's open for writing in binary format. And now I'm just going to use the dump function, pickle.dump, pass two arguments, the model that we've just created after meticulous hard work, and then the file, this reference through the computer variable to the file that is open to be written to in binary format. There we go. And we should run this first. There we go. There we go. It is run. And then lastly, we really just want to close that file. Remember always to close that file. So we save. I'm going to file close here. If I go here, we can see that the pickled file lives here now in the same folder. Now a colleague or a co-worker or someone else wants to use that model that I've worked so hard on. Let's see how they're going to do that. Import pickle there. Now what they're going to do is to read the pickle file, create this reference, this computer variable that references this file, opening of this file, I should say, in read binary mode. There we go. They create a computer variable called model, which is what I've used here, and pickle.load. So they're going to load the model from this file. There we go. And just to show you, there's the model. So nowhere here did we import scikit-learn, create the model, anything. It is the model that was pickled from before. Just to be sure, we can see there, there were 13 features, the feature importances. More importantly now, there's a new, in this instance, I suppose that this is data from a patient, but I'm going to pass values for these 13 um, feature variables here, predictor variables, and we're just going to see what our model predicts. This was a regressor model, so there was an 8% chance that this patient would be have a, a one outcome or successful outcome. Remember, the outcomes are coded as zero and one for the regressor model. So a beautiful way just to save your model and for others to start using the model that you've worked so hard on.